All right, uh, let's go straight from entertainment update. I'm sure lots happened at the weekend, and uh, Sam Daddy, he, he never sleeps at home. Uh, so, Sam, morning to you. Long weekend, I suppose. Uh, I what's agree. the latest in entertainment? So, let me tell you, I wish it was all good news, but in fact, it's been mostly sad news, right? So, let me start in East Africa, where one of the biggest, you know, weekend events plans got cancelled. So, the 29th edition was set, of course, of Prack and Chill, was set to hold over the weekend, headlining some of Kenya's biggest DJs. Now, lead organizer DJ Piera Makina, in the in a series of posts, slashed at the government for the sad development. Now, she, she, she put up, and I quote, COVID is real, but I will not die of hunger. What is wrong with being part of the solution? People need to survive. We need solutions. Kenyans are killing themselves because they don't have a solution. Now, the event, according to Flyers, you know, was in partnership with the Meru County government and had strict COVID-19 guidelines in place, you know, wearing your mask. And since the event was meant, you know, for attendees to come in their car and party in their car, you know, so the DJ herself, you know, the lead organizer, revealed that herself and 200 persons were arrested and put in a police truck and then in a cell. Now, while this is rather sad for the entertainment industry for Kenya, you know, we also know that as of July 31st, you know, Kenya's COVID-19 positivity rate had risen to about 15.6%. You know, so while, yes, entertainers are suffering for this, and while, of course, the government was in partnership with this, we're only wondering, you know, what happened and, and where did they get it wrong? But let's move from that, of course, to Nigeria. Still on some very sad news. Nollywood was thrown over the weekend into a state of, you know, despair after the passing of veteran actress Rachel Oniga. Now, an official statement on her official Instagram page cleared rumors of COVID-19, but, you know, broke the sad news that the 64-year-old battled a heart-related illness for some time. Now, the actress who has remained relevant in industry since 1997, you know, even till date, you should, I remember I spoke to her, she was in part of Bovi's film, um, Village People. And, you know, she's also part of the upcoming uh, Chief Daddy 2 uh, that he completed filming some months ago. Now, this is sad, of course, and fellow Nollywood colleagues took to social media to express their deepest pain and condolences, especially a very heartbroken patient, Ozokwo. Here's what patients had to say. Oh, Rachel, I can't believe this. I thought it was one of those girls. If anyone had told me it's so going to be so soon, I wouldn't believe it. Rachel. We had discussions together the last time we met when we were doing Chief Daddy Part 2. Wonderful light dress. Bold and beautiful. Oh my goodness, I wish this is not true. I wish this is not true. I can only believe this because I saw it on Actors Guild of Nigeria page. Of course, a lot of celebrities seem to be heartbroken about this, and who, who wouldn't be? Um, you know, people, of course, especially the co-stars from Chief Daddy, a lot of people from Iniedo, you know, to Fuke uh, Akindeli, you know, to Jide Kosoko, a lot of these messages continue to roll out over the weekend, you know, from friends and colleagues, and, um, you know, in fact, we saw Bovi as well put out some of these. And in fact, award-winning actress Kate Henshaw didn't hold back either in expressing both, of course, her, her condolences and her absolute displeasure in Instagram trolls who went ahead harassing Nollywood stars during these times. So for not posting. Here's what Kate had to say. Okay, people that they've had relationships with, people that they've known, people woke up to a very, very sad news. I mean, I'm one of them that I, I, I came for this cancer thing to try and enlighten women, support Cancer Care Foundation. Only for me, as I'm walking into the venue, greeting women, and I heard the very terrible news of Auntie Rachel, whom I've known, I don't know, since 1996. Yet another day, so many close chapter, so many movies, even Chief Daddy that we just finished in May. You know, it's so sad, a sad loss. But then you, 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 you monas, uh, uh, mobile monas police, you are patrolling people's pages and asking them, uh, why have you not posted? Don't do that. Don't do that. You don't know how people choose to mourn. You don't know. You don't know how people have set up. A very pained Kate Hensher there. In fact, I, I, I don't understand this myself because, you know, if you go through these comment sections, you see a lot of people. In fact, even on patients' posts, you know, asking, why are you on camera crying? And you're, you can't help but wonder what's, what's wrong with people's, uh, you know, sanity and humanity. But, well, that's, that's all entertainment. A couple of, you know, sad stories. But, yeah, we do hope that, you know, every, everyone you know, gets back into the spirit, you know, and, and has a wonderful rest of the year. Wow, thank you so much, Sam Dandy. I mean, the stories are just they're, they're dampening my spirit. But thanks for the entertainment update, uh, as you always do on the show. All right, coming up next is Sports with Olisa.